Hey, and welcome back. Let's tackle the forgot and reset password feature. So back into VS Code. I will collapse this. And then forgot. Async function. Request response. Try and catch block. I'll put the error. Status 500. Error message. All right, now to the try block. First thing we want to do is get email. So when a user forgot their password, they will need to give us their email so our server can send them a reset link. After that, we want to check for the email if it exists in our system. Next, we want to create an access token. So in order to perform a reset password, a user need to have the authorization from our app and the access token will give them that. Next, we will send this token in the link. So send email. And if everything goes right, then everything was a success. All right, first thing, get the email. So I will say const email request.body. Now we want to check if the email exists in our system. So let's say const user equal await user find one. So find one based on the email. Then if there is no user with that email, we want to return a response of a status of 200 and a JSON message saying this email is not registered in our system. Next, we want to create an access token. So cons AC underscore token, and then we will use our helper. So create token dot access. We will pass in the user ID and now we will send email. I will scroll up a little bit. Let's jump into our send mail helper. The first thing we want to do is copy the send email register function. So copy all these lines. Next, I will collapse the function and then paste it down here. First thing we want to do is change the function name from register to reset and then add a new param called name because we want to use the username in the email template saying like hey john click here to reset your password all right next we want to change the subject instead of activate we want to say something like reset password next we want to change the html template so copy all these HTML code, delete it, and then paste the new one in. This template is available in the GitHub repository. So this template is different because the content is different. It will say, please click this button below to reset your password instead of the welcome message in the register email template. All right, next we want to export this out. So send email reset give this a quick save and then navigate back to the user controllers now we want to send the token in the link so let's say const url equal backtick then http colon forward slash forward slash localhost colon 3000 forward slash auth forward slash reset dash password now forward slash again and pass in the access token which was ac underscore token next we want to define the username so const name equal user.name now we want to use our send mail helper so send mail and then dot send email reset we want to pass in the email which is the two and then the link next the text button let's make it say reset your password and lastly the username as name all right, if everything was a success, we want to respond with a status of 500. And then a JSON message saying resend the password. Please check your email. Give this a quick save and now navigate to our user routes. Let's define the forgot route. So route.post forward slash api forward slash auth forward slash forgot 
underscore pass and then our user controller and then forgot now give this a quick save and test it out let's jump into postman and then add a new request let's say user forgot password it would be a post request and then to this route next click body and then raw and then json format we want to pass in the email and now let's click send here's the message that tells to check our email so let's check our email here's the email that our server sent and here's our new email template so the next thing we want to do is actually resetting the password now if we click this link it will take them here to this form that we built and this is where the user will be able to reset their password so now let's work on that function let's jump back into vs code and then into our user controller let's collapse this and now let's say reset async function request response try and cache block return the error message of the error and now to our try block so the user would need to input their new password and the first thing we want to do is get the password and then we want to hash that password after that we will update the password then if everything is good, then the reset was a success. So in this reset function is where we are introduced to middlewares. And the concept of middleware is this. I will jump into the user routes to explain. So a normal route will be that first the user will hit the route and then the action will fire. But now if we introduce a middleware, a user will go to the route first then to the middleware, hence it's in the middle, that will fire, and then our actions. So why do we need to do this? So in order to perform actions like changing password and avatar, a user would need to have the authorization from our app in order to do so. And the way they have that authorization is by possessing an access token that our app gave them. So the specific middleware we are going to write will be verifying if the access token is valid. So let's write that first. Before doing so, let's remove this. And then open the VS Code sidebar. Locate the middleware's folder. Let's create a new file. Let's name it auth.js. Stand for authorization. Let's collapse the sidebar. First, we want to require in JSON web tokens. So const JWT equal require json web token next we want to say cons odd will be an arrow function that will also take in the request and response also a new param called next i will explain this in a few seconds now let's set up our try and catch block let's output the error in the catch block status 500 and then the JSON message of the error message. Now onto our try block. First, we want to check for the access token if it exists. If it does, we want to validate it to see indeed it was our server that signed it. Then if everything passed, that means it was a success. All right, now to the first task. So I will say cons token. It will be in the request. And instead of body, it will be in the header with the name of authorization now we want to say if the token does not exist we want to return a response of a status of 400 and a json message saying authentication failed so now if the token exists we want to verify it so let's say jwt verify the token and then our secret keys which was access underscore token 
and then we will use a callback function that will take in the error and a payload which I will define as user first if there's an error we want to return a response of a status of 400 and then a JSON message saying authentication failed I think I misspelled this word there should be a T right here also here next I'm gonna move the success line up into the callback function and if there's no error I want to return the user and then call next so next is saying if this function pass call the next function because this function is a middleware and if it does not pass it will throw the error now let's export this out so module.exports auth give it a quick save now let's navigate back to the user controllers so our first task will be getting the new password from the user so let's say const password equal request.body next we want to hash that password so let's use bcrypt first we will need the salt so const salt equal await bcrypt dot gen salt now we will hash the password so const hash password equal to await bcrypt hash pass in the user password and then use the salt now we want to update the password so we will look into our database so await user find one and update we will find one based on the user id so underscore id will be request user dot id and we got this user from our middleware because if everything passed the function will return us the user that is how we got it here and got the id next what we want to change is the password and then it will be the hash password all right if everything is good we want to respond with a status of 200 and a json message saying password was updated successfully give it a quick save and now navigate to our user routes first we want to require it in the middleware so cons auth equal require look into our middleware folder and then the file next we will define the route so route.post forward slash api forward slash auth forward slash reset underscore pass next we will use our middleware and then our user controller and then reset let's give this a quick save and then test it out open up postman i'm going to save this request first so command s next let's add a new request it will be user reset password it will be post and then our endpoint reset underscore pass next click on headers type in authorization and then value we will need to pass in the access token so this email right here that we got a few minutes ago has now been expired so now let's request for a new link jump back into postman and then to our forgot password let's click send all right let's check our email here is the new email let's copy the access token and then back to postman into reset password and then paste in the access token next let's go to body and then raw and then json message and then type in our new password this time i will say hello world without any number and then click send awesome our password was updated successfully now if i go to sign in and use my old password and click send it will be incorrect but if i change to my new password and now click send then everything is working like it's supposed to and this will also wrap up our lesson and i'll see you in the next lesson